down. I didn't, did I not just put you down? Genie Mac, this girl doesn't listen. Oh, 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 balls, oh, balls, oh, balls, oh, balls. He's fast, he's fast. Greetings, guys and girls and fellow gamers. My name is Games of Kicks and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 15. Nearly forgot the name of the game again. I don't know what is wrong with me today. In the last episode, we did a lot of work on the grounds here and we actually finished replacing a lot of the dirt with sod, which is really nice. Uh, I'm not going to do this today in this episode. I'm going to try to finish it between episodes so we can start building our first building, our first house, or I don't know what we're going to do yet behind the walls. But today, we're going to focus on the pier. I have a couple of designs in mind. I'm not sure what's going to work. We're going to try some things out and then hopefully we're going to have a nice, wonderful, lovely pier going along here uh, that we can extend upon and make look nice. And then this whole area is slowly coming together. Anyway, I hope you're going to enjoy the episode today. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and the series. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Okay, straight as we start, noise. Wow. That is actually very much near our other base, so let's go get that. That was a coincidence. I just finished recording the intro and pop, it goes the weasel. No, pop goes the motorbike. Okay, um, wow. Oh, this is kind of this direction. Hopefully we have enough time to get it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's not slack a Rooney. I still can see it. Yes. Okay, it should be still visible for a little bit. So it seems to have gone right behind this little hill here. Well, at least that's where the smoke was. So we're gonna try to not deviate from the path. I think I'm going right towards it. Oh, please don't tell me we went in the water again. It should be somewhere around here. The smoke is gone, so this is gonna be a bit trickier to see now. But I th it, th it should be around here, unless it fell into the water again, did it? Ah, balls. Oh, there it is, I think. No, it's not. Okay, let's have a look around. There it is. Yes. It's not in the water. How awesome is that? Let's see what we have. Oh, an antibiotic. That's nice. Schematic for, for this. That's nice. Oh, an AK. We already know all that. That is cool. Oh, crap. I have so much, so much rubbish in here. I didn't even notice that. So let's eat that. And we can throw this out. Yeah, let's make a little bit of room. There we go. Nice. Lovely. Nothing new, but always appreciate a free first aid kit. Over here on the corner, I just filled out the rest of the ground, like, so we have a nice stable way to build. Now, this here is where the wall is gonna go. So, we're going to have to make sure that we have a wall going all the way through, because I don't want the pier to go past the wall, because we have our defenses here. We might actually build the wall all the way out to here, and then have a little light tower at the end or something, that would be nice. So unlike these towers here, it will be a smaller but um, in the water fitting light tower. And it won't be made out of cobblestone um, because I want it to look the part. So um, it will have different materials. But first, we're going to have to lay the ground here for the cobblestone wall. There we go. The water, luckily, is not really water, water, because otherwise it would just fill this up really, really quickly. It's luckily only silly water. <laughs> there we go. Look, now it's working. Now the water is behaving. So we're going to build this up to about, I would say, a little bit out so that we definitely don't build the pier anywhere where the wall is supposed to go. There we go. Nice. I like it. And this is just the base for the wall because we don't want any crawlers to come underneath and destroy everything. So I think that's a good idea, yeah. And then on top of it, we have the walkway just like we do here, where on the outside here, we have that massive wall uh, that goes all the way around. I'm not sure if I'm going to follow the design pattern. I'm going to follow the design pattern of this on this side of the wall. But on this side, we might actually do something different or just leave it a wall. I'm not really sure. We'll see. The plan for the design is uh, very simple. We need support beams. So as support beams, I'm going to put these guys down. Around here. And on top of those support beams, I will put my wedge piers. So because we want to have this diagonally going. So we're going to put these guys in a pattern. And we just aim for that properly here like that. Now, I should be able to place these guys right on top. 
Um, oh no, because they're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're one over. That's where they are. Yeah. So we can't actually do that. So what we can do though on this side is we can finish this side. Because I actually have um, used the ground here as support. There we go. Let's put them all down here, as many as we can. And the good thing about this uh, diagonal pattern I noticed is that we can actually very easily then splint out and build a pier this direction over there to connect to the trees. Or around the trees or whatever, or just make a little area where we can put a little uh, building or something. That would be nice. I might actually do that, because that would look lovely, I think. Um, again, I'm not very um, skilled in the whole design thing, so it will be very simplistic, but we'll see what we can do. Look at that. Nice. Raising the ground. Lovely. This is already all sod, so I'm not really worried about that. Nice. We used them all up. Now, catwalks. They're gonna go in between here, but I have to turn them by one because I want the woods to line up. So by default they go this way, so I turn them one. There we go. Nice. And we'll always be three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Excellent. And then we're gonna put the corners here when we're finished. So let me just finish this pile here. We need another one. And then we're gonna do another couple of catwalks. And then once we get over there, what I might actually do is I might dig up this whole area here to keep that um, nice and flush and diagonal over to this point. I think I might dig that up, actually. Uh, assuming the water will flow in, that that's I'm not sure of. We'll see. I just kind of have to get a little bit more resources so we have more wood and more stone because I have to make more cobblestone rocks as well. Um, while we're doing that, um, I'm thinking about the... Not the pier, but the building. Once we have the sod, the ground all replaced with sod, I'm thinking that we're going to build, uh, it's, again, it's based on an idea from you guys in the comments, is that we build a woodlog house. So it will be either purely woodlog or partially woodlog um, mixed with other things. You know the woodlogs I'm talking about, these guys. So not spikes or anything. Woodlog. So I'm not sure if these guys are can turn enough into areas and then we can use these beams as well kind of in a mixture so I'm, I'm gonna have a look at some designs it would be nice to come up with a nice natural looking woodlock house that would be lovely or like a hoof house nearly um, as the Germans built them they're, they're like kind of pre -made, factory made houses and they just bring them along and uh, build them then like Lego pieces together well there's more involved in that but it's the idea of it um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna we might do something nice like that. It's a pity that there is no such thing as changing just the texture of a block to something nice So we can build like a full concrete wall and then make it look like nice wood I think they do that with alpha 16 and um, that would be very nice. Hey, we haven't killed any of you in this episode yet There we go. Look at you Lovely oh nice that was just I needed that you're so thoughtful Thank you! What a polite little zombie. Wow, look at that! A little roaming horde! Didn't expect that now. Oh, I love it! Right when he was turning over. Nice! Can get you from the distance, like a ninja. Oh, right in the eyeball! <laughs> Come on, right in the noggin! Oh, yeah, baby! Then run! Look in my eyes, pretty girl. Oh, didn't see you there. Wow. Come on. Yeah, these guys are insane, so they can take quite a beating. So you have to be careful. Once you're hit and stoned, if you have more than one around you, you're absolutely screwed. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is make some room. Oh, there's more coming. Holy balls. There's quite a lot coming. Okay, let's, let's, let's pick these guys uh, up and then skedaddle. Oh, look at the bike. <laughs> so let's put all this away here. Make some room quickly. So we can... Um... Oh, oh, this is lovely. I love when this happens every time. It's so nice. It's so lovely. It's so amazing. I'm picking up things, guys. Don't interrupt rate me. Don't interrupt me. I'm gonna lose... Oh, money. I like money. Money, money, money. It's so funny in a zombie world. 
There we go. Nice. Down! I didn't... Did I not just put you down? Genie Mac, this girl doesn't listen. Oh, 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 balls, oh, balls, oh, balls, oh, balls. He's fast, he's fast. Yes, we interrupted him. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, that could have gone so wrong so quickly. Look at that, nice. We're not bleeding, we're not anything. Okay, good. Wow. Okay, I think the... Chuck Norris roundhouse smack. Boom. <laughs> Oh, look at that! They're actually gonna go on top of her! Oh, they went behind her like a ninja! Oh, shit, okay. You stop asking around, Cakes. You gotta get yourself killed. You're only at 40 health. Okay, come on. Nice. Hello there. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're gonna go back and uh, finish the <laughs> finish the work on the, on the pier? On the deck? I don't know. Whatever you wanna call it. The one thing I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do it is uh, this corner here. Well, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of know how I want to do it. Um, this is a bridge, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy this bridge and we're gonna raise it and make it higher because I want this pier to go all the way around and follow along here. So what we might actually also end up doing is fill in or make a diagonal cut across here and then fill in all that area here. Or we make that a little pond, maybe, we'll see. It would be nice to have a little duck, like a couple of duckies here with a little bit of um, frogs and some pond leaves. That would be lovely. Yeah, that would look pretty nice. I'd like that. Anyway, so I think that's what I'm gonna do with this bridge and over here. So we finished this one now. now. Let me put the support beams down so we don't have the whole thing collapse on us. We need so many support beams. Um, I don't know if 59, I don't know if that's enough. There we go, we just had to go one. So, one over. There we go, nice. Ah, your balls. <laughs> always happens, always one. I was just gonna do it with this. It's, it's quicker than just changing tools and then do it. There we go. And I also uh, replaced, uh, cut away all these guys here to make this nice and flush. The water actually filled it in, which was really nice. So I'm having a very lovely, nice straight area, which is nice. I think maybe I should have made the pier a little wider. I don't know. What do you think, guys? We still could make it wider, but then it would look odd with these things in the middle. So um, I think I'm going to leave it that width and um, then maybe do a wider pier going this way or something. I don't know. We'll see. I think I worked the logistics out how we're going to do this here. Okay, this is not fitting yet. So let's just fill in the gaps here a little bit. And okay. So we're going to fill this in. And then we need one more here. Yes, I think this one here is one too many. Okay, so let me just fix that. Oh, the pity is that the wood is turning around, which is not nice. Um, it would be great if they would have more dynamic uh, functions going on so that this would turn the same way. It would be nice, but hey-ho, we can't change that if we want to um, have the pier going this way using the catwalk pieces here. We're gonna have the wood has to go this way around. So, But I'd rather have the, the wood go in the same direction as the wedges than do it weird, you know, and then this doesn't fit anyway. I'm thinking too much about that. So let me just fix that. And then one more here. And I think this is it. Yes. Nice. So over here we might have to do a catwalk. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna melt in. So and this has to be a corner piece. So we're gonna have to do that by hand. So let me just make a railing. There we go. A railing craft that's what we're gonna need and we're going to need um, a catwalk piece there we go nice catwalk piece here and railing here 
Excellent. Look at that. Lovely. And it came all really nicely together. I'm really enjoying this. This is a very nice build. I'm, well, for me, it's very nice, my skill, given my skill set. There we go. And look at that. We can actually continue these guys now. Oh, man. That is awesome. I like that. That is so cool. So let's finish the corners here. And then um, I think that's it Like uh, for this episode, the pier. It's going to look awesome. Nice. All right, let's take a little tour. I left this side open here. I think I'm going to remove the bridge. And then we'll basically build directly across. I think that would be good. I mean, if we think about that, there's no need why we shouldn't go across. And then we can make this pier go nicely here with the railings on the side. And then we're going to put railings all the way on the side here. And there will be... Oh, look at the trees. I love the way they look. Let's have a, look, a quick look over here as well. Nice. So once these guys are fully grown, we're going to chop them down. We're going to place seeds here on the rest of the holes. Um, oh, this is where the wood is. I was going out chopping wood like a maniac. Genie Mac. Should have just gotten that wood. It's lovely. It's going to be nice. And then we're going to put some lights here. I don't know where I'm, how I'm going to do the lights. I'm going to have to think for a design of that as well. And let's go down the pier. Look at that. It's narrow, but it's nice. Look at this. Nice. And I actually like these beams. Uh, at first I was like, uh, oh, they look a bit ugly, you know, because they're, they're protruding out. But I think it looks... Uh, natural is not the right word. You know what I mean? It looks like it fits. In my opinion, anyway. Very nice. I like it. Oh, back up. Back up! Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. This was the, ba the making of the pier, the docks, the pier. We're going to do some docks later. So what I might do is actually over here on this side, I will punch a hole into this here or something. And then we're going to follow the path down and we're going to make a little area here for, you know, with a couple of benches, you know, where we can hang out. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the benches yet. We think of something, but um, it's going to be good. I'm going to use uh, probably plates and... Um, wood poles but uh, that should work but it's gonna hopefully end up uh, looking pretty good um anyway i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i'll see you guys in the next episode and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe oh look at the moon hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time until then as always your spaz and happy gaming so this is coming together nicely so let's just finish this here Put this together here. Look at that. Oh, man. This is lovely. Nice. Ha ha ha, I love it.